Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and now that I got your attention with that title, I'm going to get in my places in, throw on my plus five hat of weaponsmithing for all my gaming bros out there. And, uh, you know, for those of you who don't like this hat or have commented on it negatively, you need to understand this hat makes me a goddamn sexual Tyrannosaurus. Hopefully some of you get that reference. A lot of altists out there won't. Alright. But a subscriber asked a question, basically not a question, a statement. He's concerned that BioGrow could cause cancer because of all of the IGF-1 bioactive peptides in it. You know, that's a great topic, and it doesn't even need to be just about BioGrow. We can talk about the whole industry in this topic uh, because this is just one example. All right, you've got a case of a substance, BioGrow, that claims to have these bioactively available <laughs> various growth factors, IGF-1, bioactive peptides, and everything else in it that, yeah, in theory, just like the video I did on IGF-1, which I'll link down below for you guys, and uh, sorry I would have got that up at some time other than 5 a.m., other than YouTube was having some technical difficulties on my end. So that video was actually filmed like 6 p.m. yesterday, but it is what it is. All right, uh, but as I covered in there, yeah, elevated levels of IGF-1 in the bloodstream, not the muscle tissue, but the bloodstream, can absolutely contribute to cancer. That's known to be a factor in cancer. We know that cancer thrives on IGF-1. Cancer is like a, IGF-1 is like a super steroid for cancer, basically. It will make it grow 10 times faster than it will make muscle cells grow. So is that a legitimate concern? Maybe. I can't say that. I'm not going to get up here and say something crazy that a new product that hasn't been tested long term is going to cause cancer. Um, because again, we have no more proof that that product would cause cancer than we have proof that it's safer it would work because it's never been tested. They just threw it out on the market with no real testing. They did a little pissant test after they threw it out to, that they paid for, by the way, to show that it gained muscle, you know, that it performed as well as steroids in their non-independent test. Uh, don't even get me started on that one. That's a whole other topic. Maybe we should cover that. But, yeah, this is what goes on in this industry. This is the nature of the industry. They just crank products out with no concern for if they're safe or not. Because you know why? So what if a product helps speed up cancer? It's only going to do it to 1%, 3%, maybe maybe 5% of the people who take it. And it's going to be slow. They're not going to be able to link it back to their product. And you know what? That product's going to be off the shelf in a few years anyways, and they'll have something new. Hell, that company might be gone and be started under a new name. You think they care? Who are you going to sue? You think you're going to successfully sue a supplement company if they create a product that gives you cancer five or 10 years later? You're not even going to know what caused it. And you're not going to be able to prove a causal link to them. And uh, ultimately, yeah, you just screwed yourself. That's the problem with taking every one of these new random supplements that come out. Everyone jumps up and they say, oh, well, it's new, it's good, it's a supplement, so it's not going to kill me. It's not going to make me fail a drug test. It's not going to give me a heart attack. It's not going to give me cancer because it's from a reputable company. Uh, and they, it's been tested. Really? It, these supplements are tested? You're telling me that every one of these new supplements that comes out, that they do long-term studies and spend millions and millions of dollars on them? You guys know that even Big Pharma, who still kills people with their products all the time? Think about that. Think about how many people die when Big Pharma makes a mistake or they crank something out sometimes and, uh, yeah, it cures some diseases but it also kills a bunch of people. Think about that for a minute. How much money all these pharmaceutical companies have to spend on testing before they can legally crank a product out to prove it's safe or to know what the death rate's gonna be on it and everything, right? FDA regulates it, they require it. They require it, and they still kill the shit out of people. I mean, big pharma kills a lot of people. But they actually spend for every product millions of dollars, millions of dollars having to prove its safety before the FDA will allow it to be released. Supplement companies don't have to do shit. They just have to put it in a bottle, find out if it's banned or illegal to sell or not yet. And if it's got a coming up thing, oh, they're going to vote on this one in the U.S. in six months, it's on a bill to make it illegal. we got a six or nine month window to sell as much of it as we want before it becomes a felony. And then we can pull it uh, as soon as they pass the bill the next day. We can pull the product. We can stop manufacturing it ahead of time and sell our inventory and we've not broken any laws. That, that's how they work, guys. They just check to see if it's legal to sell it to you or not. And sometimes they don't even check to see if it's legal because they know it's illegal and they slip it in and spike it and just not put it on the ingredients, okay? The supplement industry has been caught doing both of those things over and over and over. So 
they're cranking out products that have not been safety tested at all. We have no idea what they're going to do to you in one year, three years, five years, ten years. No clue. At least anabolics and some of those things have been tested and we know what to expect. We know what the health risks are. We can at least see it and make a calculated risk. These supplements, you have no fucking clue what they're going to do to you, if they're going to kill you or not. Because they are not required to do a three-year or a five-year long-term study on it with blood work and health markers and spend $20 million dollars every time they crank out a new product. You know, and then it's always like what happened with the BioGrow with Mark, it's just colostrum, it's just colostrum, Mark Lobliner, right? The whole colostrum thing and me fucking with him about that. But it's supposedly better than colostrum. It's all this concentrated biopeptides. You're telling me that's the same thing as colostrum? Well, make up your mind. Because if it's just colostrum, you can order whole things of colostrum on the internet, a big old giant bag that weighs five times what the tub of BioGrow does, and you can probably get it for $20. Or with that $80 tub of BioGrow cost, it has five, maybe ten times the amount. You can just buy colostrum if you're convinced colostrum is going to build muscle on you. So basically, if you think it was just colostrum and you bought it, you're fucking stupid. If you think it's just colostrum and you're selling it and asking people to pay 20 or 30 times what colostrum actually costs, you're a dick. You're a con man. You're fucking people. Without even giving them the goddamn courtesy, common courtesy of some reach around. So, if it was just colostrum though, then why are they claiming it's better than colostrum? Why are they claiming it's, it's way more concentrated? Well, if it's way more concentrated, that's not just colostrum. We're dealing with something that we can't assess the risks. This hasn't been evaluated. Now, how much is safe? Is it going to cause cancer from all the bioactive peptides they're claiming reach your bloodstream, all this IGF-1? Because if they really work, and I don't think it does really work, but if it really works the way they claim with what they're saying it will do, yeah, hypothetically, it could increase cancer rates. It could feed your cancer tumors. It could... Uh, in theory give you cancer if it does what they claim it does however since they haven't proven that it actually works we don't have evidence that it could then cause cancer because you know again you've got to prove that it actually reaches the bloodstream in that form in those concentrations to prove both that it works and that it could increase uh, cancer risk to any significant degree so here we are that's never been proven because money still hasn't gone to study the product and hell we don't even know what they were really putting in it we don't even know if the, some of the early samples were spikes that were sent out. We don't know if uh, what was sent to the researchers to be tested was spiked, and I suspect it was. You don't know what was in there was being sent early out, so you might even just think it was BioGrow, but you don't know what they really put in it. It's because people were actually getting a response early on, and then some of those guys said, well, they stopped getting any response from it. Yeah, because may maybe there was something else in it that wasn't on the label for the first couple months that it came out, then they quit doing it. Once it got a reputation. We don't know, you never know with these supplement companies. That's the level of ethics you're dealing with. So if you're relying on the fact that it's a reputable company producing a product, these aren't reputable companies, these are supplement companies. They don't have ethics. They don't have ethics at all. So if that's what you're banking on, that a product might be safe and it's not going to kill you from it's a reputable company, you better stop and think that one through for a minute. They're cranking out untested products with unknown safety because the FDA doesn't regulate supplements. And if the FDA actually regulated supplements, the way that it <laughs> regulates big pharma, supplement companies would disappear. The whole industry would go away because they can't afford all the testing to release each new product. I mean, they would literally be spending millions of dollars to do several years of testing to prove it's safe before they could legally put it out on the market for you. But fortunately for the people who are lining their pockets in that industry, they don't have to do that. They don't have to do anything to prove it's safety. All they got to check and see is if the ingredients are legal to sell or not. If there's been a law written yet, yeah, doesn't mean they're safe and that they, there's not going to be a law coming up later. They just got to see if currently it's been determined to be too dangerous or illegal to sell. And if it's not on the list, they're good to go. Think about it, guys. These products 
you have no way to know if they're safe or not. And people just put them in their body and just assume that they are. And then when you even suggest, when I or anyone else or your medical doctor tells you, hey, this product might not be safe that you're taking, you guys all roll your eyes. You roll your eyes and you go, well, medical doctors don't know anything about nutrition or bodybuilding or training. You roll your eyes every time, even when your medical doctor tells you, hey, you need to come off of that. I think it's hurting you. And you're just like, well, it's just this, it's just that, it's just creatine, it's just whey protein. So you're going to tell me that you know more than your medical doctor about what seems to be hurting you personally? You really are going to believe magazine writers in the supplement industry over your personal medical doctor? Um, if he tells you to come off of something or he thinks it might be dangerous, you're really going to do that and argue that the doctor is wrong. You're free to do that. Feel free to do that as much as you want. But, you know, I don't think that's the wisest choice. You know, I definitely don't think that's the wisest choice for the majority of things. Sometimes doctors get things wrong. They absolutely do. But the odds that they know more about the human body than you do or the supplement companies do, the odds that they know more and are more likely to get it right statistically is, is really good. Statistically, they're more likely to know the truth of the matter or not on something like how something affects the human body internally. They have a little bit more education on it. Just throwing it out there. I'm not saying they can't be wrong, but they're more likely to be right than you are. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.